Now, now you're thinking, we're supposed to be doing Luton or um, not County, aren't we? And I decided, you know, once we got our Premier League side in the FA Cup third round, we had to take that opportunity because we don't come around very often. Today, it's Mansfield Town versus Premier League Newcastle United in the FA Cup third round. Steve McLaren is still the manager. And if you look to me right here, you can see it. Mansfield Town are in first. We've had a fantastic run. Apart from losing one game, we've lost one game. But we are on a mad run. Let's get into the episode. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but the view from up here looks fantastic. 49 points from 24 games. We are really killing it. And if we bottle it, I'm going to tell you right now. I think we're getting promoted this season. Back to my promotions is on the cards, and I really think... Actually, you know what? Sod it. Sod it. Sod it. I am guaranteeing promotion from League One to Championship this season. And if we bottle it, oh my god, no. So after Wickham, we won 3-1 away from home against uh, Altrincham in the FA Cup first round. Goals from Kyle Dempsey, T.A. Ambrose and George Bauman for Altrincham. We drew 1-1 away from home. J. Emmanuel Thomas for Rotherham and Hilton for us. Then we lost the game. We actually lost the game in this season. Dominic Samuel got Gillingham underway in the 28th minute of a lovely goal. Thierry Ambrose missed the penalty but actually got the rebound to make it 1-1. But Jace H Jake Hessen for luck. Almost messed his name up there. Um, gave Gillingham the win, Gillingham the win, fair play to them, do you know what, we've been on great rough form and they, they, I think we were 12 games unbeaten until we lost that game, so fair play to, Lu um, to Gillingham there, and then we actually won 1-0 against Luton at the Field Mill in the FA Cup first round, Thierry Ambrose with the goal, so there, then we drew 1-1 away from home against Preston North End, Nathan Delfonso. Now this is the game I really want to speak about, Mansfield Town nil, Croy Alexandra nil, and the Johnson's Paint Trophy North semi-final won on penalties, so that means we're through to the North, North final. I think we're against, I don't remember who we're against actually, I feel like it's Oldham, but I don't think it's actually Oldham. This game, we should be winning, to the point where I actually went three at the back and three up front to go for this game, and we could not put a goal away. Thankfully, there's no extra time in the Johnson's Paint Trophy North semi-final, so we went straight to penalties, so that means my player fitness was okay, and we actually won on penalties, Mick Lacey being the one who missed for Crew Alexandria. We won one away from home, Swindon Town, a Thierry Ambrose with a penalty. We won 3-0 at home, and a very convincing win against Oldham Athletic. Even Calero, Thierry Ambrose. Thierry Ambrose, by the way, this goal was a screamer. And Nathan Delfonso in the 85th minute to make it 3-0 winners. We, we should be going up. We should be going up as we continue looking at the schedule here. 3-1, win away from home against Luton, Connor Washington for them. Templeton and Thierry Ambrose for us, and then one nil went away at home against rivals Notts County. Reggie Lambchops getting on the score sheet for the first time in a little while. A good performance from the lad. Do you know what? I took him off at half time, and I was a bit unfair actually of taking him off even though he got a goal. I was a bit unfair, but I mean, at the end of the day, we won 1 0. And if you look at the detail, one, let's just look at it one more time. It just looks so bloody good. Look at it. Oh my goodness. How do you not look at that and just fall to your knees and pray that we get promoted this season? Back to back promotions is on the card, I'm guaranteeing it. But today, we are against Newcastle United in the FA Cup third round. And let's get a look at their team because I'm actually excited to see where they are. Well, they're dead in the middle of the Premier League. They're 10th in the league. And they've been up and down since the start of the save. 7th, 7th and then 12th. Now, Steve McLaren in the job still. How's he doing? How's Steve McLaren doing? He's won the Capital One Cup. Not too shabby, Alonso. Who's they got? I'm looking to see some stand-up players. Angelo Henriquez, former Manchester United striker. Wilfred Boney, former Manchester City and Swansea manager. Uh, manager? M um, player. You got Moose Soko with Genie Wijnaldum. Oh no, they got Rodrigo Benzacur. Form uh, he's a Boca Genius lad in actual real life. But this guy is unreal in, in, in FM. He's actually sick. £23 million, he's wanted by a club as well, I'm guessing it's a big club, it's only West Ham United, for Christ's sake. This guy, I know he's good, I know he is good, so I need to be careful of him. Johan Kabai is back at Newcastle United, that's mad. Thomas Callas, then Bembus, I think that's Socrates from Balm, from Brucey and Dortmund, if I'm not it is Socrates. He's very good, isn't he? 17 pace, cheese, Louise, and a bucket of cheese. John Flanagan, Dario, Matt, Tim Krull. It's going to be a very interesting game. Let's have a look at the homepage because they can show you my stats. Nathan Delfonso and Even Calero are a tie top goal scorer with 10 goals each. Kyle Dempsey has the highest average rating of 7.43. Most assists with 5 each for Jason Malumbi, Wes Burns, Billy Waters, Jackie Boy, Thomas. Ah. Best pass completion, Matthew Willock. Most player match awards is 50 rated. Kyle Dempsey is on a mad run. Fashion Neufeld has picked up another yellow card. He's 8 for the season now. And Donovan Daniels is the only red card. That red card was in the FA Cup first round against Altrincham. So, today, Mansfield Town versus Newcastle United at the Field Mill. I'm expecting a sellout in the Field Mill today, but I could be wrong. Let's go play the let's go play the game. But the first, the teams. 
So here is the Newcastle United bench today. You have Joe in goal on the bench with Raphael, Florian Tovan, Adam Armstrong, Vernon Anita, Socrates and Joel Campbell. They're playing a 4-4-2 and they are going out all guns blazing for us today. Tim Crawley in goal with Daryl Yarat, Thomas Callas, Chancellor Mbemba and Kennyman with Gini Wijnaldum, Johan Kabai, Rodrigo Bentecure and Mohamed Sissoko in the midfield. They're starting up front today. You have Angelo Henriquez and Mohamed El Yanusi. They are going out. They're going for it, and I can't blame them. They're away from home, they need to be going for this game. Then here is our side. We have gone defensive. We're going for a 43-1, the usual. But we've gone a bit defensive today. We're actually hitting it on defence, lower tempo and everything. The bench consists of Ross Fitzsimmons, Callum Templeton, Tom Naylor, Matthew Willock, Jack Thomas, Chris Forrester, and Nathan Delfonso. And starting the game today will be Mark Howard, Ethan Wedderburn, Donovan Daniels, Adam Jackson, and Vashon Neufil. That is consisting of our defence. And then Jason Manumbi as a ball midfielder. And Alberto de Francesco as a um, advanced playmaker on support. Hopefully he can maybe drop back a bit. And then Billy Waters, Kyle Dempsey, even Clara is the only attacking player. Oh, actually, that's a lie. Thierry Ambrose. Even Clara is one of two attacking players alongside Poacher Thierry Ambrose. He needs to be picking up a goal today. Even though we are defensive, we hope and pray we can get something from this game. Let's get underway. It's Mansfield Town versus Newcastle United. We haven't faced a Premier League side, I believe, since the Chelsea game in the first season. And I'm very intrigued to see how we do. Genie Wijnaldum puts it in the midfield here to Rodrigo Bentecure. Mohamed El Yanusi to Mohamed Sissoko, and it's 1 0 within 6 7 minutes. Moussa Sissoko has scored in 8 minutes to give Newcastle United the lead. Look at possession, look at the possession a second. I, I, I'll try and see if I can pitch that in the video. We've had 78% possession, and yet we're 1 0 down already. I know there's just quality issues, there's quality differences, you know. Matt, you know, Newcastle are just the better side on the day. But I mean, 78% possession of the ball in 7 minutes is a bit mad. Ma to be honest, Mark Howard should be doing better there, actually. He kind of looks like he's going for a fly. So he's got wings. He's like an angel. Billy Waters has picked up an injury and he wants to go off as soon as possible. A twisted ankle, not looking good. And I don't think I have anybody to bring on for him. Unless, uh, you know what, we'll bring Malumbi on in the right midfield and then we'll bring on Matthew Willock as a ball midfielder. That's a shame about Billy Waters, but it happens. Hopefully he's not out for too long because he's a key asset to this side. Free kick. Johan Kabai, Gini Wijnaldum. I thought they were going to shoot. Mohamed El Yanusi to Chancellor Mbemba. Back to Kabai in the midfield. Back to El Yanusi. They've got options. Look at them. They are flipping wolves. Now look at them. They're just closing in. Both from Medelburn tries to get tackling Kabai. But to Gini Wijnaldum. He's got options on the left here. And there is that option. It's Kahneman. Kabai spots a fantastic ball to be fair. Gini Wijnaldum to Kabai. Is it going to be a long shot? Kabai. So you know you know C should be 2 0 really. Sissoko, whip it in. God, just whip it in. Just put me out of misery, Bentacure. And that's a great deflated piece of defending there. Look at the possession. 65% possession. We've had four shots. We're doing much better than I thought we would. Kabai whips in a ball here. Malumbi will clear it. Can we get to that in time? Kabai to Daryl Yamat, who's still playing football. What? Well, it's half time, and match that suggests we're playing quite well, actually. We've got 59% of the gestion. We've got a lot of the ball, but not taking enough shots. So, should I? Should I go counter? I'm going to try it. I'm going to fucking, why not? You know what? Why not? Let's tell the lads calmly. You've been unlucky, actually. You've been playing quite well. Let's just, you know, just relax. Be motivated, you know. Just try and play this game a bit better. We are doing quite well. One goal, and it could change the whole complexity of it. And if we get a replay at bloody St. James's Park, imagine the dollar. Imagine the dollar. Free kick. Kabai whips it in. Henriquez Dempsey with the clearance. Now here's El Yanusi. He can pop one. Oh, is this a break? No, it's not. Damn it. Bentacure to Sissoko to make it two. What a save, Mark Howard. And Vashon Neufil will clear. Um, counter has made, um, give, well, given Newcastle a lot more of the ball. So I'm going back to defensive and I'm just going to sit here and hope for the best. Jason Malumbi is knackered. So I'm going to take him off. Is there anybody who can play on the right? Thierry Ambrose, get on the right and let's bring on Nathan D'Alfonso. Nathan D'Alfonso has Premier League experience. Could do the job, you know. You never actually know. Free kick. Well, Dempsey whips it in. No way. Oh my god. De Oh, bent of your heads out. Don Francesco brings it down like an absolute champion and shoots. Is it off the keeper? It's off the. Oh my god! What a goal! It's 1 1. Can we hold on or can we get a goal? Imagine. Oh my god. Let's make a change. We have five minutes until a replay at St. James's Park. I know that doesn't sound too big, but holy mother of god, that is massive for me. Chris Forrester is coming on. 
in place of even Calero. We're going to make him a supporting inside four. We have five minutes to go. Are we going to go away to Newcastle at St. Park? Or are we going to pick up a famous win? Come on. Throw in. Wedderburn. Matthew Willock. Bring it in the box. Bring it in the box. Thierry Ambrose. Ambrose. Oh, he gets tackled. Willock to Wedderburn. Is it going to be full time? It's going to be full time. He's going to call it. There it is. We're going to St. James Park. I can take a positive result from that, because that's a Premier League side, and Alberto Del Francesco has fucking scored a screamer. An absolute screamer. Honestly, the stats are so even. I think we played fantastically well, to be fair. I'm looking forward to seeing what the other FA Cup results are like, because, you know, other League One players might have a, um, have a League One side, sorry. May or may not have had a good game. I'm seeing Tony Watt as a top scorer got now for Coventry. It was Dominic Telford when we started the game. I'm looking forward to seeing how commentary did now. Here are the other results from the FA Cup then. I see Manchester United have beaten Aston Villa. Bowen Wall and Blackburn have beaten Charlton, sorry. Bradford City, League One beating Oxford. That's a good good win. Oxford top of the league. Are they top? No, of course they're not top. I'm getting so confused if someone else is safe. Toxic Lemon. I'm so confused. I thought Oxford top of the league. No, no draw between Norwich and Burnley. Burton Albion lose 3-2 away from uh, at home against West Brom. Unlucky oh, actually. Cardiff drew 0-0 with Sheffield Wednesday. Leicester 1-2-0. West Ham 1-4-1. Palace won 3 1, Doncaster Rovers and Carlisle uh, drawing 1 1, Wolves beating Fulham 1 0, Swansea beating Gillingham, Hull City losing to Bristol City, it's quite a weird one, Leeds United beating Cambridge, Liverpool beating Southampton, Mansford Town drawing with Newcastle United, oh! Plymouth beating Middlesbrough, Millwall and Barnsley drawing, Wigan beating Peterborough, QPR winning 2 1, Reading winning 3 0, Shrewsbury winning 2 0, a draw between Stoke and Brighton. Um, that's a good result for Brighton, actually. Everton winning with 2-0 away from home. Tramir beating Forest Green Rovers. Manchester City winning 3-0 away from home. Coventry beating Watford. Tony, what, what, what? <laughs> in Bolton drawing 1-1 one, one Wickham. All right, let's have a look at the inbox. Because I know Billy Waters is knackered and dead, probably. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, look at it. I'm going to show you this again. Because look at this result. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. 9,186 seats were sold. How fucking... How many seats is there in Field Mill? It was sold out. You beautiful bastards. Right, Neufield needs a little rest. I will do that in a second. Billy, what is that for? Shit. 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 He's up for five weeks. That's a massive loss for the side. And we'll do the press conference in a second. So, that means we got a replay to play. we got a replay against Newcastle United. Do I play it in the next episode? I might have to do it. I hope you enjoy... Do you know what? Sod it, I am going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Killer Kill Stag Do. If you did, leave a like. And if you didn't, tell me why! In the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of Killer Kill Stag Do. Football 2016. It's an FA Cup third round replay at St. Union's Park. We are rolling in the money, boys. Come on!